All around the world, Jesus Christ is revealing himself to people from different origins, from different races, and there is no limit to what Jesus can do. He came already once, but he is still working through the Holy Spirit and he's reaching people from different faiths, whether they come from Muslim, Buddhist, Hindu, and any other religion. All it takes is that seeking heart. All it takes is somebody who is ready to seek the truth. And when they seek the truth, when they cry out to God, they will find the Lord Jesus Christ. When we seek him, we will find him. When we knock, the door shall be open. I want to say to people out there today that if you are willing to take the time to seek God, if you even take one month of your life, this month will be worth eternity. All you need to do is seek God with all your heart. Cry out to him. Seek the truth and you will find it. That means that you are somebody who is willing to make the sacrifice, to put the time in, to seek God. If you are genuine, if you truly want to know the truth, you will encounter the living God. You will encounter Jesus Christ. You will know the truth. And this truth will be the most beautiful thing. It will give you peace and joy like no other peace. That's why Jesus said, I will give you peace in a way that nobody else can. The peace that this world will give you is not a true peace. It's only temporary. But the peace that Jesus gives you is an eternal peace. It is a true peace that lasts for eternity. Jesus loves human beings and Jesus desires to save everyone. The Bible says that God does not desire that any person perish. God wants that every person comes to repentance. He wants to restore every person that he has created. There is no limit to what Jesus can do. Anything that you might have lived in the past, any sin that you might have done, anything that you think that God will not accept you, that is not true. Jesus Christ's forgiveness has no limits. He loves people and he wants everybody to come to him. And he won't reject any person from any faiths, from any origin, from any nationality. He is impartial and he is ready to welcome you, to save you, to clean you up. The joy of meeting Jesus Christ is not something that you can compare with anything. When we meet Jesus Christ, the first day we do that, we start looking at the world and suddenly everything else seems pointless. Because now we know God and God has revealed himself. And there is joy in knowing that everything is under control, under his full control. God wants to give his mercy to people. That is the purpose of creation. And he has allowed all these things to happen so that people choose to come to him. So that people respond to his calling. When he comes and he works through our conscience... God is looking to help us, to save us, and to grant us mercy so that we become his children. For anybody who accepts Jesus Christ, who receives the Holy Spirit, they become adopted children of God. They passed from condemnation to eternal life here and now. Whatever you think you have is nothing. We will lose everything. But if you have Jesus Christ, if you have the Holy Spirit, you are a child of God. There is nothing to fear anymore. There is nothing to crave anymore because you have everything. Your value is in eternity. Your value is in Christ. Nothing else in this world will matter to you anymore because you have eternal life. You have God with you. To people who believe in Jesus, to believe in Jesus is not only to believe in our minds, but it's also to know him, to have a true relationship with him and to follow him every day. He is there. He guides his sheep by the Holy Spirit. We can always get closer and closer to Jesus Christ and know him. And when we do that, then we will be 100% sure of our faith. We will walk 
and the power of the Holy Spirit. The power of the Holy Spirit will help us overcome sin, iniquity, and many things in this life. Without the Holy Spirit, we will not be able to overcome. But if we have God with us, if we have the power of the Holy Spirit, we will overcome sin. We will not even desire to walk like we used to walk before we met Him. There are many things I used to do before I met Jesus. But after I truly knew Him, after I understood what He is all about, after I understood His essence, His sacrifice, His true love, then I couldn't do these things anymore. Even though I can sometimes be tempted to do wrong, I am not able to do wrong because I know that He's there. This is how strong true faith is. And this is what having a full assurance of faith is. There is no limit to faith. We can always increase our faith. We need to spend time with God and seek God so that we strengthen our faith more and more in Jesus Christ. If we have Jesus, we have everything. And if we don't have Jesus, whatever we have in this world will be worth absolutely nothing when we get to the end. And may God bless you.